Hi, I'm Kevin from Easy Generator Switch. And one of the common questions we get is, do I ground my generator? Normally I would tell you to go with the manufacturer's directions. However, for me, I think the safest thing to do is to ground your generator again. Whether you have a bonded neutral generator or a floating neutral generator. That ground, not to be confused with a neutral, is really for your safety. If there should be a short inside your generator, that's when that ground becomes really important. Some people sit, ask me and say, well, I have a floating neutral generator and the ground is going all the way back to the panel. There's nothing in Article 250 in the National Electrical Code that says you can't have more grounds. I would drive a ground rod, leave it there, leave the wire coiled up on my generator, when I drag my generator out, I would connect it. it. It's a safety. If something happens, like I said, with a fault in a generator and it's going to the case of the generator, your generator is sitting on four rubber legs sometimes. So it's sitting there with potential and you come over to shut it off and you get a shock and want to know why. Well, if you had a ground rod connected at that point, that would never happen. It would automatically dissipate, go to ground, and you would never get that shock and it would also shut up your generator. So, I would say all the time, ground the frame of the generator. There's a little lug there, they're on every single generator. Uh, if you have a complete plastic one, I even seen those that have a little ground on it. I, I, I don't see how it's going to hurt, I see it being a safety issue. And um, more grounds the better in my mind. 